June is Caribbean Heritage Month. All things recognizing heritage and culture along with Caribbean Americans' contributions to the U.S. We're joined now by the founder of the Central Alabama Caribbean American Organization, Pauline Ford, along with Dr. Nandina Ramru. I love the get up. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, we're all about color and feathers in the Caribbean and fun, fun, fun. All, all <laughs> festive vibes here in the studio this morning. Pauline, talk about your organization and why it's so important to have here in Central Alabama. Well, first of all, you know, um, it's not usual to find a Caribbean community in Alabama because they tend to be in, main, in larger cities like New York or Miami and so on. So when I moved to Alabama, um, I didn't think I would run into many people here, but fortunately I did. And the idea came together to maybe we could do something about starting an organization. First, it was just supposed to be a social gathering to have fun, enjoy each other's culture. But we looked around and saw that we could actually make a better contribution than that. So we have the social part, but we actually also have a serious side where we award scholarships to students from the Caribbean who are attending college in central Alabama. So from there, we moved into forming an official nonprofit and we've been going to gangbusters ever since. Talk about your roots. Where is your family originally from? I'm from Jamaica. Okay. I'm from the beautiful island of Jamaica, born in Kingston. Um, moved to the United States many years ago with my, my parents. When you're young, your parents are moving, you have no choice, you get on the plane. You go on with them. <laughs> you go on with the plane. <laughs> but, um, but it's been a rewarding experience. Um, I kind of like to tell people, um, when you're an immigrant and you have two loyalties, one would be to the place that gave you life. It's like your parents gave you life. And your new country is like a spouse that now you're building a life together. So one gave you life, your identity, and one, you're building a life together. So we honor both traditions. That's why the organization is Caribbean American organization. It's not strictly Caribbean. Like we say, African American, Jamaican exactly. American, right, Asian right. American, it's right. all it's Caribbean the same American. concept. We're taking a live look right now at the beautiful Kingston, Jamaica, as of Pauline course. just mentioned. Explain the get up here, Absolutely. doctor. Well, I'm originally, I've been here for over 20 years, but originally from Trinidad and Tobago, the land of Calypso, Limbo, Steel, Pan, which you know was invented in Trinidad and this are the biggest show on earth is called Carnival in Trinidad and Tobago which we just had here in Bessemer Alabama a week and a half ago parades costume beautiful costumes the steel drums and whatnot so we're so happy that uh, Alabama has been so welcoming and supportive and thousands in attendance to our festivals and parades. So this is like a classic example of a carnival costume uh, with the feathers and whatnot, yeah. I love that she talked about the carnival event in Bessemer mm -hmm. because the, you, that's social, right? You have a yes. good time, yes. but it's mm -hmm. also educational. It is educational because most people don't realize carnival was actually introduced in Trinidad in 1834. This is not a new occurrence. This, is, this has historic roots. Um, similarly, the uh, steel band, the steel drum, was first created in Trinidad. You know? And speaking of historic roots, why we celebrate Caribbean American Heritage Month is most people don't know that the, the Caribbean has a connection to the United States that goes all the way back to the Revolutionary War. Haitian soldiers fought alongside American soldiers in the Revolutionary War. The founder of Chicago is, a, is from Haiti. One of the founding fathers of Texas is a Jamaican. So we have a historic root, not just the fact that today our vice president is part Jamaican, and we have others like Colin Powell and Harry Belafonte, even Malcolm X had Caribbean roots that most people don't know, they don't realize. But we speak to this in June because it's a way of showing the connection and that this goes back, we not only have the current roots, but we have historic roots. What is it like for you? You talked about you being a child, getting on that plane, coming to America. What is it like when you're able to meet other families, similar families that have similar stories here in Alabama? Well, you know, it's, it's always interesting. It's always interesting because they might have come in different ways. Some moved to New York and lived in New York for, for years and years. And then finally, and I can tell you my personal story. When I moved, I moved to New Jersey hated it <laughs> because one, it was cold, two, I was living in a high-rise building. Um, it was just totally different. Totally different, totally different. So when you meet others uh, who have come from the islands and you can talk and say, well, how did you get it? Some came through Miami, some came through New York, but ended up in Alabama. 
you know, that's the story. How did we end up here in Alabama? Most came for school, you know, and they just stayed. Because the beauty of it is, Alabama has a lot of tr attributes uh, like the Caribbean. They have the houses, they have lots of trees, they have yard spaces. The weather's a little the similar. The weather's a little similar. We, and of course, you have access to a beach, mm -hmm. a beachfront. You know, you can't keep the Caribbean people away from the beach. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you can't. So it, it was just a way of, of um, bonding around some common themes. And of course, I cannot say it more, the people of Alabama who have been so welcoming have been so welcoming and so, when we have the festival in Bessemer, I would say probably 90% of people in the park are Americans. They, they, just, love they just come out. They just come out and they love it. Even in the parade, Absolutely. a lot of the, the ladies in the parade are Americans. They love the costumes. You know? <laughs> it's, it's fun, it's a good time. It is, it really is. And now you are an official nonprofit. We are an official nonprofit. How can yeah. people get in touch with you if they wanna learn more, wanna help host an event? Uh, visit our website. Um, www.cacaoonline.org, cacaoonline.org. And that is the Central Alabama Caribbean, Caribbean American, American organization. organization, a nonprofit yes. right here in our area. Just to have a good time and spread some knowledge yeah. to, to and, all in and, Alabama. And it, and it is our pleasure. It really is our pleasure. A lot of people didn't know Dr. Martin Luther King used to come to the Caribbean all the time. When he needed to decompress, he would come and we took care of him. And I'm sure he had a great time a while great he was time. there. He had a great time. Pauline and Doctor and your beautiful yeah. get up. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you both so much yeah. for joining us here Thank on you. Alabama Live. We truly appreciate it. It's our pleasure.